All right, guys, what's going on? Carl Beth from Rush Outdoors. We have the new Obsession Delta 6 here. Uh, just got this in yesterday. Uh, a bunch of guys have been on me already to do a video about uh, how it shoots and uh, some information on it. We'll put her together, run her through the chronograph, and uh, let you know what we think of the bow. But I'm pretty sure with Dennis and Kevin designing the bow, it's going to be something really nice. This one's actually set at 70 pounds with a 28 inch draw. These bows are draw specific. Um, when you get these cans we have to order them for you uh, whatever draw you need to be. So remember that when you're ordering your new uh, Fusion 7, Fusion 6 or Delta 6. Um, they're draw specific cans. So it's very important. This one's in gunmetal. The finish is really nice. Uh, it's got the same grip as seems like the same grip as all the Obsessions had last year. Uh, limb pockets are the same as they were last year. Obviously a new cam design. Nice deep groove. Looks like it's machined out really nice. Uh, there's a new cam stop on these. Um, seems to be basically the same adjustability, but it's actually a separate mod that goes onto the cam itself. We're going to put the new Delta 6 together and uh, we'll run them through her paces and see what we think. I'm actually going to turn it down uh, due to me being lifting really heavy lately. I am not going to be trying to draw seven pounds and blow my shoulder out or anything like that. Um, I usually shoot most of my bows at 62 so that's what I'm going to turn it down to and we'll see what we get for some speeds out of it. So stick around. Alright guys, well we got the Delta 6 all set up. Uh, I've actually got a, a QAD Hunter Ultra on it. Um, just put a regular D loop set up on it. I'm going to be shooting a Black Eagle X Impact. <clears throat> this is actually my 3D arrow. Uh, it's got a 100 grain point on it. Um, obviously, you can see it's got small, small 3D veins and a regular F knock setup on it. Uh, should be a pretty fast setup. Uh, I did turn the bow down. I turned it down three cranks. Seems to be right around that 66, 65 pound range. Uh, I don't need to go any further with it. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about is. It's actually got a, what I call a separate mod on this. They call it a PER FX DS system, uh, the new cam system. I uh, have shot it already, but I'll show you guys what it does. But uh, it seems that this cam loads up real even all the way through. It doesn't have like last year's cam where at the very end it just rolls over a little bit hard at the end. Um, but they seem to have taken care of that. A lot smoother than last year's load up system. Um, but the speed seems to be there. I, uh, we'll shoot it through a chronograph and see what happens. Other than that, the things I notice is uh, the cable slide is different from last year. Um, there's no roller cable slide on this one. Like I said, the bows are draw specific. Uh, it would be a great ground blind bow, tree stand bow. So we will run it through its paces and check it out. See what you guys so We are down in the test range here at Rush Outdoors and we are going to shoot the new Delta 6. Um, in the bow, you can get this bow from draw lengths from 25 and a half to 29 inches, uh, up to 70 pounds. It's got a six inch brace height, 28 and 9 16 axle to axle. Um, it's a nice short little bow. Uh, they're advertising a 344 IBO out of it. We will run it through the chronograph with this arrow. Like I said, I'm, I'm shooting my uh, 3D arrow out of this. Now you guys are going to have to forgive me because it was arms day at the gym and I am beat up so we will see what happens quick. That bow is even deader in the hand than last year's models. I mean, last year, you know, they are great, but you do get a little bit of vibration every now and then. Uh, it could have been the could have been my rest too, but this thing is quieter than last year's models. And I know you find that hard to believe, but it's true. Hmm. Got the quickness too. So uh, these bowls are going to be retailing for $9.99. Um, we'll probably be selling them for $9.49 here at Rush Outdoors. Uh, get a chance, give us a call here at 
Hmm. That's a nice setup. This would be a great turkey bow is what I'm going to say. <laughs> Sitting in your ground blind with a short little bow like this. That would be awesome. Uh, this particular one's gunmetal. Like I said, the finish on these bows is really, really nice this year. Uh, that new cam rolls over, loads up real even. Uh, doesn't have seem to have the, the lock over at the end, is what I call a lock over. Um, you know, when you're pulling back and then all of a sudden it just kind of releases real hard at the end. Um, last year's did it a little bit, but this one seems to be a lot smoother. And you're definitely feeling the smoothness when you release the arrow. So you come back and it just sits right back there, just that little bit. That is a great shooting bow. So, like I said, this one's set at 28 or 28 inches. Um, I've got it turned down three cranks. It's right around 65 pounds. Uh, we'll test it through the chronograph here and see what we get. But uh, my opinion, definitely an improvement over last year, which I didn't think they'd be able to do. And uh, I will be very interested to see when I get my fusions what they shoot like. But. Uh, Excellent bow. Excellent bow, guys. All right, guys. Carl Bestie from Rush Outdoors. Uh, I'm going to be shooting my 3D arrow, my X-Impact, um, with a 100-grain field point in it. It's 26 and a half inches long, 8.3 grains per inch. It's a 350 spine. Uh, it's got a 4-grain knock in it and uh, about 12 grains on the tail for, for veins. Uh, it comes out at 330. 339.95, so we're just gonna round it up to 340 grain arrow. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna shoot this bow at. Uh, it's got a 64 pound draw. I turned it down a little bit more, and we're gonna see what she runs through the chronograph. Then after that, I'm gonna shoot my hunting arrow, which is the same shaft, bigger veins. Uh, it's actually got a, a same or a lighted knock in it, a clean shot lighted knock, so that adds some weight to it. And uh, 125 grain field point on the front of it with an outsert and that is 425 grains for a hunting arrow so we will run that through the chronograph too and show you what we get but like I said shooting a delta 6 uh, 6 inch brace 28 and 9 16 axle to axle uh, set at 65 pounds now and we will see what we get but uh, I'm expecting some pretty good speeds on all right boat. 3d arrows Run a couple through, see what we get. Three forty six. We get three forty six. Apparently, it's faster than I thought. All right, guys, you've seen uh, shooting that arrow through there. Uh, the 3D arrow is 346 feet per second. It's actually a little bit faster than I was expecting, but uh, it's good to see. I like that. Um, there's no hand shock in the bow at all. It's quiet, and I'm shooting in a, you know, you can see this lane's probably only about 10 feet wide. So if it was going to be loud, it'd be loud in here, and the bow itself is not loud at all. So. Now we're going to shoot the hunting arrow. Uh, you can see on the front of this, I've actually got the outsert and 125 grain field point with a clean shot, lighted knock on it, and uh, the bigger set of veins from Vein Tech. So we will see what we get out of this one. I actually forgot this arrow is actually a little bit longer. It's an inch longer. So I had another eight grains to what I told you. So looking at about a 430 grain arrow. 28 inch draw, 65 pounds. Three twenty seven. Three twenty five. All right, guys. Well, you can see the Delta Six is a real consistent bow. Um, quiet quick short axle to axle for those guys who are shooting uh, ground blinds or have tight spots and tree stands that they need uh, sit, sit down stand up climbers things like that clear your 
climbing bar. Uh, seems like a great bowl. They've improved on a few things. I see absolutely no negatives in this bowl for sure. Uh, seems to be a great bowl. So if you guys want to check them out, give me a call here at Rush Outdoors. 608-445-7608 if you're in Wisconsin. I'm in southern Wisconsin. Or any of your local Obsession dealers. Or give Dennis and Angela a call down there at Obsession Bowls. Thanks for checking it out.